the sea is calm tonight. The tide is full, the moon lies fair. Here, the poet is standing at the window, and he is looking at the sea. He observes the rising high tide, and the moonlight that is being reflected from the sea water. Upon the straits, on the French coast, the lights gleams and is gone. The cliffs of England stand, glimmering and cast out in the tranquil bay. Come to the window, sweet is the night air. Now, the poet shifts his attention to the English Channel. He sees that lights of the French coast is fading away, while the cliffs of English coast are still standing tall and bright. And the bay is calm. He calls his wife to come and stand with him to look at the beautiful scene and enjoy the pleasant air. Only from the long line of spray where the sea meets the moon blanched land, listen. You hear the grunting roar of pebbles which the waves draw back and fling at their return up the high strand, begin and cease, and then again begin with tremulous cadence slow, and bring the eternal note of sadness in. In these lines, although poet was enjoying the night air and the night scene, but he is sensing some sadness in the atmosphere. He describes that, when the sea water meets the land, it produces a repeating grating sound from the continuous shifting of the water. He relates this sound with eternal sadness. And he tells his wife to listen the same. Sophocles long ago heard it on the Aegean, and it brought into his mind the turbid ebb and flow of human misery. We find also in the sound a thought, heading it by this distant northern sea. Now, he remembers Sophocles, that he must have heard the same sound and felt the same sadness in the Aegean Sea. He says that Sophocles must have felt the same as the poet is feeling. The sea of faith was once, too, at the full, and round earth's shore lay like the folds of a bright girdle furled, but now I only hear its melancholy, long, withdrawing roar, retreating, to the breath of the jit wind, down the vast edges drear naked shingles of the world. Now, the poet explains that, there was a time, when people believed in God and put their faith into it. But now, the tide of technology is taking over, and just like water, the faith is retreating. There was a time, when faith held the earth like a girdle, but now, that era is gone. Ah, love, let us be true to one another. For the world, which seems to lie before us like a land of dreams, so various m, so beautiful, so new, hath really neither joy, nor love, nor light, nor certitude, nor peace, nor help for pain, and we are here as on a darkling plain swept with confused alarms of struggle and flight where ignorant armies clash by night. At the end, poet addresses his wife, and felt grateful, as he has someone in his life, who cares about him. And he states that, he and his wife needs to be honest with each other forever. Because the world is cruel and not what it looks like. He compares their situation, to standing on a flat and dark piece of land, that is full of chaos and hatred. He is able to see the things clearly now, and he